اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to perform moderation analysis when using CBSCM in Smart PLS. The concept of moderation. Moderation is where the direct influence of an independent variable on the dependent variable is altered or changed because of a third variable. This third variable is called the moderator and it can influence the strength and sometimes the sign of the relationship from the independent to the dependent variable. So what the moderator does is it either strengthens or weakens the relationship between IV and DV and it can sometimes change the relationship between IV and DV that is change it from positive to negative or negative to positive. A moderator is said to interact with the independent variable to determine the influence on the dependent variable. Thus, you will hear the term interaction that is interaction of independent variable and the dependent variable when testing for moderation. And if this interaction effect or this interaction of IV and the moderator is significant, this means that moderator is moderating the relationship. An interaction term is where you form a product of the independent and the moderator. This interaction term will let you know if the presence of the moderator is significantly influencing the relationship from the independent variable to the dependent variable. It simply means that you've got an interaction term in the model and if the effect of that interaction term on the dependent variable is significant, that is the p-value is less than 0.05, this means that the moderator is significant in altering changing the relationship between IV and DV. Using our example, collaborative culture will lead to improved organizational performance. If we say that the relationship from collaborative culture to organizational performance is moderated by level of role ambiguity. Now, this is the example that we are going to take in this particular session, whereby the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance will be moderated by role ambiguity. In simple terms, role ambiguity will weaken the strength of relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. We will need to see how the interaction of collaborative culture and role ambiguity influences organizational performance. Now what is the procedure for running moderation analysis? Now the step one is to assess the interaction we need to form a product term of role ambiguity and collaborative culture. A problem that can occur with a product term is high level of collinearity or higher collinearity with the original constructs which can cause problem in the analysis. Now if you've got an interaction term and the independent variable and the moderator in the same model then it can cause this high collinearity issue. Now one way to solve or circumnavigate this problem is to mean center the variables in your data. There has been an ongoing debate on whether mean centering is necessary. Now, previous research has stated the results are essentially the same, whether you mean center it or you do not mean center them. While the differences between these methods are minimal, the advantage of mean centering is that the data is not only you are accounting for potential multicollinearity issue, but it also makes the interpretation of results easier. Thus, the recommendation to mean center your data before analyzing is encouraged. Now in testing for moderation, we need to mean center the independent variable and the moderator before we form the interaction term or the product of independent and moderator. Now step one, mean centering. Now once we have the mean values, we need to form a new variable that is mean centered. So first we will get our mean values and then we are going to come back to this. Now here is my data set and first I need the mean values. So how do I get the mean values? So first right click here, insert, right click here, insert. So mean value for collaborative culture is equal to average. First I'm going to take the average of each of the respondent that how they responded to 
each of these items measuring CC. Now click here. Now I've got mean value or average for each of my respondents for this particular construct. Now similarly, I'm going to do it for this one. RA is equal to average. RA, click here. Now when you see this plus sign, double click and the formula is extended to all the rows. OP, average, although I might not need it, but still let's do it. Select the five items for OP, enter, click here, double click here. Now I need to take the mean value for each of these variables, especially I need CC and RA. So is equal to average. This will give me the mean score for the variable CC. So it is G, row number two. So G2 is the cell and up until 342 in G. So G342. Now this is the average score for collaborative culture. Now what is for role ambiguity? Here it is, is equal to average. M2 up, and up until M342. Enter. So this is the average score. Now I will change it to five decimal points. Right click. Format cells. Let's do five decimal points here. Now this is the mean score for the two variables. Now I've done step one. So we've got mean scores now next step now i've got the mean score here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to and this was the mean score for both of them on a seven point liquid scale now once i have the mean score i'm going to mean center these variables so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create two new columns and then i'll subtract the mean value from the mean for each of the respondent score. How am I going to do it? So I'll come here and this is the average score for each of the respondent. Now I need another cell here, center CC and this will be center RA. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write is equal to this value minus the mean score. So what is the mean score? It is 4.70186. 4.70186. Perfect. Click here. Now double click. And now you'll get this is the mean centered score for each of the respondent. Now, similarly, I'm going to do it for this one. Let's get the mean score. What is it? 2.65982 is equal to this minus 2.65982. Here it is. So here's the formula. Now I've got centered RA score and centered CC score. Now the next step. Now, once I've done that, what I'll do is I can create the interaction. Now this is step one. Step one is done. Variable score minus the mean score. Now step two, I will create a interaction term or I will create the interaction term and let me name it as inter CC into RA. Copy and let's call this column and is equal to center CC multiply by center R. Make sure the right cells are selected. Yes, they are. Now click here. This is the interaction score. This is done. Save it. Now that this is done, the next step. Now we are going to build our model. So how do we build our model? Let's go to Smart PLS. Now first I'm going to import the data. Here is my data file, open. 
now double check if you've imported the right file yes i have imported the right file import now i've got my data here now let's see look at this it is text form so let's see raw data and see it's showing formula so it's had an has it like the for the value is not imported so let's go back right click let's delete resource delete and let's go to our excel sheet here it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select it all copy it right click here in the new sheet right click and click values now you've got values here so right click import data file moderation and sheet is sheet one now i've got all that i wanted import the mean has to be zero for centered variable anyway so this means that you have done the centering properly and let's create a new model and let's call it moderation okay now this is my collaborative culture my independent variable this is my dv here it is again remember if you are conducting an analysis do not include the interaction term for the measurement model you do not need any interaction term for the measurement model for the measurement model you just need to add your constructs and link them as in the model so if you if you've got a moderator here what will happen is you will have ra and i will link it to let's say now when i'm testing my measurement model i have a model like this but if i'm testing the structural model that is the moderating effect what i will have is i will have the interaction term here and i'm going to link it here that's it now i can run my moderation analysis let's save it go to calculate cbscm now let's say i go for normally 10000 is recommended but for now just go for 1000 to get the results in a quicker manner this one let's say one tailed and let's start now here are our results let's see the path coefficients now the interaction look at this this is negative this is mean this means that your moderating effect is negative that is the moderator is weakening the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance and is it significant yes it is significant this means that the moderator weakens the positive relationship between cc and op significantly weakens now the direct effect of the moderator on the dependent variable is significant as well and it is negative as well so this is how you can perform your moderation analysis when you are using cbscm in smart pls4 but this is not enough now what we are going to do is we are going to have our plot because the results are significant so we do need a plot so where are our plots now since the results were significant we did a plot and the stats tool package by james keskin is one of my favorites here it is so collaborative culture r a o p independent variable moderator dependent variable now what is this independent variable what will i write it here i will write my independent variable is cc so what i will do here is i will write in the impact of cc on o p next is moderator this means that the impact of ra on op the next one is interaction so this is the interaction effect that is inter cc into ra and its effect on op so where are the values the impact of cc on op here it is let me copy this let's paste it here the impact of cc on op is this copy 
and paste it here now the impact of moderator here it is and the in interaction effect here it is now look at this which line is steeper the blue line is much steeper than the red line this means that at low ra if you increase collaborative culture it is going to lead a sh or it is going to lead to a sharper increase in organizational performance however at high role ambiguity although you are increasing your collaborative culture moving towards the higher collaborative culture but it is not leading to a similar change in organizational performance so ra dampens or weakens the positive relationship between collaborative culture and op why positive because here look at this there is no negative sign here moving forward now that we have analyzed the output the next step is I'll just quickly review make sure that you mean center your independent and dependent variable then take its interaction and include it in the model along with your independent variable moderator and dependent variable now how do you report it here it is the study assessed the moderating role of role ambiguity on the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance the results revealed a negative and significant moderating impact of ra as we saw earlier the values obviously will change here you just need to copy those values here it was 1084 if i remember correctly with a negative sign is the negative sign and the t value and the p value you just need to copy it from that same here so let me copy let's get this one here so here is the table so it was 2.267 and p values 2.0.012 that is supporting h1 moderation analysis summary is presented in this table here so you can format this table in apa style as well now moving on if your moderation analysis is significant you will need to report the slope analysis now remember you cannot copy directly from smart pls so one has to go to excel and then copy the table now i've copied it again because earlier i made a mistake let's delete it paste it delete the sample mean delete copy now here is the table now we can format it accordingly if you want you can call it path coefficient now moving on now that we had our results as significant and our moderation was significant we will do slope analysis now results of slope analysis conducted to better understand the nature of the moderating effects are shown in figure 1 this is this is the figure as can be seen in figure 1 the line is much steeper for low ra now look at this this line is much steeper and comp in comparison to the high ra this shows that at low ra the impact of CC on OP is much stronger in comparison to high RA. As shown in figure 2, as the level of RA is increased, the strength of relationship between CC and OP is decreased. Now look at this line, steeper line here, the low RA. At low role ambiguity, when the role ambiguity in the organization is low, if the organization focuses on collaborative culture, its performance increases. So this is how you can perform moderation analysis when using CBSCM tool in Smart PLS4. Now, as for this table, you can format this table according to APS style. There is a video on the channel. I'll share the description or the link in the video. Now, finally, since there is uh, no book available on CBSCM using Smart PLS, I'm using a Collier Applied Structural Equation Modeling using AMOS. Thank you very much.